Hey guys, I want to address the topic of cardio in this video. One of the most common questions I get is how much cardio should I do a week? I want to address that guys. Before I do so, I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can reach me with your questions and comments. Now before I begin, I'm a little sweaty, just finished working out, doing some rack pulls. So excuse me if I look like a train wreck because I feel like a train wreck. So guys, let's talk about cardio. When uh, a lot of the muscle building workouts I have on the net, guys will approach me and say, how much cardio How much cardio do I need? How much cardio can I add to this? So on and so forth. Well, I want to address a couple uh, aspects of cardio. Um, let's start by addressing how much do you need. When you're building muscle, you don't need any cardio. You, you literally don't need any cardio. Um, that is not to say it's not a good choice for overall health. But when someone approaches me on a muscle building workout and leaves a question, how much cardio do I need? Yeah, they, you don't need any cardio. You don't need any cardio to build muscle. Um, so, you know, if, if you're looking at overall health, then I recommend three to four sessions a week for 20 to 30 minutes each. You want to kind of balance your cardio. You don't want to do too much. Because if, if you start going to 30 to 60 minutes a day, you're sending a signal to your body that it's more important to be built for endurance, to be built for long-term uh, you know, cardio performance than it is to build muscle mass. So you're going to have two conflicting goals. This isn't to say you can't build muscle mass when you're doing a lot of cardio. I have. I, pl I, I built a lot of muscle mass when I was uh, playing basketball after my workouts. I don't know that it was optimal, so you got to be careful with that. So once you get over that 20 to 30 minute, minute level a day on cardio, you have to be really careful that you aren't overdoing it. If you're not seeing gains, if you're not seeing muscle mass gains and you're involved with the sport and doing a lot of cardio like this, then you might need to increase your food intake. If it's not sport related, then you're going to have to pull back your cardio. So just when, you, when we're talking about overall health again, guys, Three to four sessions a week for 20 to 30 minutes tops. That's my recommendation. Now, one of the aspects of cardio guys will ask, um, one of the reasons why guys ask about cardio during muscle building is that they're trying to do two things at once. They're trying to build muscle and they're trying to lose fat by adding in the cardio. So they have two goals and they're trying to accomplish both at the same time. Guys, I'm going to tell you this, uh, this is, this, that's just, in my opinion, not the way to go about things. You have to focus on one goal at a time. If you want to build muscle, then go all in. Build muscle, eat to build muscle, and add the cardio in for just overall its health benefits. But don't expect to build fat, if you, or to lose fat. If you're walking in both worlds, trying to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, you're running a really tight, uh, restricted calorie intake, and doing a lot of cardio, hoping to build muscle and lose fat, you're probably going to decrease the results of both of these goals. Point being here, the more you focus on one goal at a time, the better you will be able to reach that goal. So, if you have a lot of extra fat, you're better off building training for strength, but focusing on uh, using a calorie deficit and getting that fat off first. If you're a skinnier guy, or you just want to build muscle mass, but you don't want to get fat doing so, do a little cardio for overall health, and then slowly bump up your calories so you're gaining a little bit of weight without gaining a lot of fat. So, guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, check out the link below. It's a link to my Q&A, the forum. It's a forum Q&A. The forum is troll-free, hater-free, bro-free, e-stats-free, no nonsense. It's a safe place. Come on, join, be part of the community. would love to have you. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.